Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a video of the go portion of my wash and go routine. It would take way too long for me to show you that process from beginning to end. So I've split my wash and go routine into two separate stages. I'm going to share with you guys which products I use, how I layer them, how I use my diffuser, um, what my hair looks like when it starts, and what it looks like when it ends. Before I start the video tutorial portion, I want to make sure to let you guys know two really important things about how to eliminate frizz in your wash and go before you get to the styling process. Number one, make sure that after you have shampooed and conditioned or co-washed and conditioned and whatever deep treatment you've used, make sure to rinse out all of your products with cool or cold water. That's really important to make sure that your hair doesn't frizz up after it's dry and after you start styling it. Number two is to get a terry cloth towel or to use a cotton t-shirt. For the longest time I was using a cotton t-shirt to dry my hair and it worked pretty well until I got this terry cloth towel turban thing. It's very small, it fits the shape of my head and you twist it around and pin it in the back. It works amazingly well. It dries my hair perfectly, no frizz, and I don't know what I would do without it. So those are the two really important things to know before you even start putting product in your hair and diffusing and styling that will minimize frizz and keep your hair moisturized and shiny and bouncy for your wash and go. Okay, so here we go. I'm starting on freshly washed hair. I did a co-wash um, conditioner and a deep conditioning treatment like I try to do every single time I wash my hair. I've dried it with the Terry Cloth Tile. There's absolutely no product in my hair. Starting with my favorite leave-in conditioner, my Giovanni Direct Leave-In. It's the best. I've tried a bunch of leave-in conditioners. A lot of them are really great. But something about the texture, the thickness, how it coats my hair, I just really love. And it's... I don't think I'm ever going to stop using it. It's really, really great and it always gives me good results um, whenever I use it on freshly washed hair. The Camille Rose Curl Maker Gel, also really great, one of my favorites. They sent it to me as a free sample, actually last year or maybe even two years ago at this point, and I just loved it. But you have to be careful with the Camille Rose Curl Maker Gel because it is a gel. If you put in too much, it'll get crunchy. Next. Um, I'm gonna diffuse my hair. This is my diffuser. It's collapsible. I really like it, but it's not the highest quality diffuser. I may decide to invest in one that is a little bit more heavy duty, but for now, this one works just fine for me. I'm super impatient. I have a hard time diffusing my hair long enough to actually get it all the way dry. And so you'll see here, I'm probably only diffusing my hair for maybe 10, 15 minutes at a time each time I use it just to get it dry enough to where some of the product is dry and my hair is getting a little bit more dry each time I diffuse it just to help with layering the product. definitely drier than it was but it's a little bit frizzy so what do I do coconut oil slather coconut oil on your entire life is great and there's the coconut oil all on my hand obviously it wasn't all the way absorbed I'm putting in my hair no big deal because I'm gonna diffuse it again and it'll end up absorbing into my hair and if there are any little loose pesky pieces of coconut oil like they are in the front I'll just smooth them out I'm not going to worry about it right now, just as long as they're not there at the end. So this is the amazingness of Cantu Coconut Curl and Cream. It's one of my favorite products because I can use it for virtually any style. For my wash and go, I use it to kind of single out strands of hair that are frizzy, dry looking, not curling right at the ends, like if I need a trim. I can just put some Cantu Coconut Curling Cream on those little individual pieces and just whip them right into shape. Or if I want to add some extra elasticity or shine or bounce to some areas of hair that are like a little bit drier and I think they might frizz up later, I just put them on there and it's like instant 
bounce, instant shine. I love it. And so I'm going to diffuse my hair one final time just to make sure that the product is absorbed into my strands. I don't want it to be sitting on top of my hair and also I have different textures of hair in different parts of my head. Some of my hair absorbs product more easily than other parts and so I just want to give it a quick once over to make sure that it's evenly absorbed even though you can see in some places it's not um, but again it's not a big deal um, and to make sure that my hair is at least 85% of the way dry at this point. This is basically it. So at this point, my hair is maybe 85% of the way dry and I just let it air dry the rest of the way. It's not gonna be frizzy, it's gonna be bouncy, it's gonna be shiny, and then I'll style it afterwards to make sure my hair isn't in my face. This is the way I do my wash and go. You can style your wash and goes in a bunch of different ways, but I just wanted to let you guys know how I avoid frizz and what products I like best.